This video will show you how to install Rexnord's Lifeline gear coupling. Before beginning, ensure all installers are using the necessary personal protective equipment. Due to Lifeline's simple design, there are just a few components to work with when installing this coupling. Two hubs, two flange sleeves, two o-ring seals, a gasket, and the necessary hardware. Before you start, inspect both the driving and the driven shafts, as well as hub bores, to make sure they are free of dirt and burrs. Also be sure the keys fit on the shafts properly. First, lightly coat the o-ring seals with grease and install them into the manufactured grooves in the flange sleeves. Then, pack the sleeve teeth with the correct coupling grease. Place the flange sleeve with seal rings on the shafts before mounting the flex hubs. Then, mount the flex or rigid hubs on the respective shafts so that each face is flush with the end of its shaft. As we are in a lab environment, we will not be heating the hubs, however, in an actual installation, you will need to allow your hubs to cool before proceeding. Seal the keyways to prevent leakage. Insert set screws if required and tighten to the proper settings. Then, position your equipment in approximate alignment with the approximate hub gap. With your equipment in place, you will now need to set the gap between your hubs and ensure that the angular alignment is within acceptable installation limits. Use a spacer bar equal in thickness to the gap specified in the table. Insert the bar as shown to the same depth at 90 degree intervals and measure the clearance between the bar and the hub face with feelers. The difference in minimum and maximum measurements must not exceed the installation angular limit specified in this table. Now, you measure to ensure that the offset misalignment of the coupling is within acceptable installation limits. Align so that a straight edge rests squarely on both hubs as shown at 90 degree intervals and check with feelers. The clearance should not exceed offset installation limits specified in this table. By minimizing misalignment, you are ensuring optimal performance of your coupling and your connected equipment. With the gap set and the alignment measurements approved, you will now assemble the coupling. Insert the gasket between the flanges into the counterboard of each rigid hub and bolt the flanges together. Only use the fasteners furnished with this coupling. It is extremely important that you tighten the fasteners to the torque ratings specified in this table. After your coupling is assembled, you will need to add the lubrication. Remove all grease plugs and fill with the remaining recommended grease until an excess appears at an open hole. Then insert the plug. Continue the procedure until all plugs have been inserted. If you are using conventional coupling grease, relubricate the coupling every six months. For those using Falk long-term grease, relubricate every three years. This grease may not be suitable for all applications, so consult your service manual for further guidance on which type of grease to use based on the size of your coupling and the speed at which you are running. Lastly, you will check the final alignment of your assembled coupling. The alignment can be checked without disassembling the coupling. Using this table, determine the W dimension by measuring the distances between W max and W min between the flex hub and the sleeve using a depth micrometer or feeler gauges. The difference between W max and W min must not exceed the W value given in this table. For more information or documentation on Rexnord products, please visit rexnord.com. To continue your Rexnord training, please visit the Rexnord University Online Learning Center or the Rexnord YouTube Library.